In Scotland, Lisa De Bruyne is investigating another aspect of incest avoidance. She's turning men's faces into female versions of themselves and seeing how the men react to these new sisters. We can generate the sister version of this man by calculating the differences between his face and an average man's face. So here's an average female face, and we're just going to transform her face to make her look like his sister. And there, you can see now she has slightly more angled brows and the same sort of squarish chin. So now you can see this man and his sort of sister version. So she has some facial characteristics that are similar to him. Okay. So what we're going to do here today is... DeBryan has asked these five men to rate five women for attractiveness. And to see if they subconsciously recognize themselves in these women, she's also asking them to rate the faces for trustworthiness. Okay, so let's start with the first face. Face number two. The men have no idea they are looking at opposite sex versions of themselves. Face number four. Face number five. On average, the results show we don't find faces that look like us attractive. Did you notice that one of the faces looked like you? Well, no, I didn't. And uh, I gave myself a uh, five uh, for attractiveness and a six for trustworthiness. So, um, no, I didn't really find myself attractive, but. Yeah, a little, yeah, trustworthy, I would say, yeah. Our brains, it seems, use both smell and sight to avoid mating with people who would likely give us unhealthy offspring.